Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to add a pop-up model with a timer to our Shopify 2.0 team. So this is what we're adding here. I used the new Crave Shopify 2.0 team. We're going to add this model which will have an image, a title, and some description and also of course an email. And you should have, when you hover it, it should have some input like please fill out this field. And then also a count me in button and a maybe later and also a no thank you. But first, let's explain what is a count me in button or a, a subscribe button. When the user input their emails and click the subscribe or count me in button, they will not be asked again, uh, even though they close the browser, unless they go to a different device. So they're not gonna bother the, the user of signing up again. So when we click this count me in button, it should add, this email to your subscribers. So when you go to your store, you should see it on your customers area. And for now, I don't have any, but let's try to click the button. So let me put my email here. Let's say info at me for you.com and then count me in. And you should have that I'm not a robot. And let's try to do this one. Okay, and that's it. So let's go to our Shopify store. Let's refresh this browser. And yes, it should be added in here as a subscribe. So when you go in here, there should be no more pop-up that will appear. So let's um, try to put it back. So let's go back to our code and let me just uncomment this one and then refresh this one. And let's put it back. So now let's do the maybe later. So the maybe later, it's tied up to the timer at here, the opt time in minutes. So let's see, this is five minutes. Let's make it shorter, like one minute and then click save. So it should not appear in one minute. So um, let's go maybe later. So let's um, wait for one minute, but while waiting, uh, let's explain what we have here. So you have a choice to change your background. You also have a choice to change your photo and you can also make it a full width. Um, I also did it on the debut team. So this is what it looks like with a full width. So it works with debut team and the button should still work. And you can change the, the model title, of course, and then also the pop-up content. And then as what I said, you can leave the first button um, label, but that is your subscribe button. So I would not leave that off. And also your second button is the maybe later button. This one, if you don't want your customer to have a choice to check on them later, then leave it blank. And also, of course, you have uh, an option to have a delay time in seconds. So that is one minute already, guys. So the pop-up appears. So like the delay time in seconds always work when they open the browser. Unless they were already subscribed, the opt time minutes is when they said maybe later. Whenever they're still in your website, uh, this pop-up will show. So any pages on your website, they're going to be reminded to sign up again. So the no thank you. Um, it would no longer appear on this session. If they close this and open the browser again, it will appear. So it would renew whenever they open the browser. And for mobile view, you could just click this one here. And this is how it looks like with mobile view. So this is my way of not bugging your customer that often. You give them a freedom of choice to decide on when to have this pop up again so they know they don't miss those deals anyway so to start we have to go to our Shopify store so this one I'm using the crave the new team and let's do the sense so I have this sense that has not customized yet but we're not gonna do the current team let's do the sense team this one you have to click actions and then edit code and we have to go to our section folder. So here and add a new section. So I'm just going to name this one uh, pop up, make it simple and create a section. Now we're going to go to our website and we're going to grab our code right here and we're going to paste it here. So um, 
delete this code inside and control V to paste it in here. And I like it to fix this one a little bit. So control A and then click shift tab and then click save. Now the last thing that we have to do is to add this code to our team that liquid. So let's open the layout folder and then open the team that liquid. We're going to go to our website again and then grab this code right here. So that's what I'm saying. I like it to be placed in the team. So before the announcement bars and then you'll click save on this one. And that's it guys. You just have to customize the team. So let's click the customize team, right click and open a new window and see the sense team. Everything would be just the same. I tried to make the code very simple guys and easy to follow and that's it. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.